bro. <laughs> this Nintendo Direct was kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I, I don't have a script for this, so I apologize if I kind of trip over my words a bit and you see a lot of uh, jump cuts that look a bit awkward. But I literally just got done watching the Direct and oh my holy shit. <laughs> this video is not safe for kids, by the way. So first, um, Fire Emblem. Uh, the Hyrule Warriors, that, that looks really cool. I haven't played Three Houses yet, I feel like I should. And um, I didn't get any like, uh, like huge, oh my god, this game is amazing from Hyrule Warriors or Age of Calamity actually, but I, I had some fun with them. So I mean, if, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess that's really cool. And I'll, I'll just tell you the stuff that I remember anyways. So we're going to skip over the big one for me, and by the way, I actually did react to this with my friend Black Magic over on his uh, over on his channel. So I will be linking his reaction or, or his channel rather. I don't know if he'll have uploaded his reaction by now, but if he has, I'll link to that video. If not, I'll just link to his channel so that you can find it there. I'm in that group, and I am a, a bit loud and obnoxious. <laughs> my my apologies. I'm gonna skip over the big one, and I'm gonna save that for the end of this video. The next one that I remember being big is we get new information about Kirby in the Forgotten Land where Kirby can just half copy ability stuff apparently and I mean there's certain of those half copy abilities that I would definitely see some uh, fan art being produced in the near future. I wouldn't be surprised if there's already some making rounds on the internet as this video goes live. Uh, Advance Wars looks really cool. Um, you can battle people online it looks like i think I, I don't remember if that was actually in the thing but the the custom maps look really cool and i was not expecting there to be voice acting that's honestly really cool I, i'm gonna be skipping around i'm just gonna go off tangents mario kart 8 2 is real mario kart 9 is dead forever we're never getting that game i never could have seen this coming i mean i feel like i should have mario kart 9 just seemed like such a certainty there was an insider leak and usually, recently those have been right, but the new twist on Mario Kart 9 is that it's just Mario Kart 8 again. But for $25, and you still get 48, oh my, 48 tracks. For $25, even if it takes two years for them to come out, that is such a steal. That is, ev that is way better than the Fighters Pass, either one of them for Smash. Like, oh my god. For Fighters Pass, you get five or six fighters, and you get stages and music. For Mario Kart, and that's like for $25, $30. For Mario Kart, $25, you get 48 tracks. 48. That is as many as is in the base game, which was base Mario Kart 8 with DLC already. Like, oh my god. I don't even care that it's Mario Kart 8. I don't even care. Like, yes. Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart Wii, I think, are technically superior games. That's just my opinion. I haven't played Mario Kart DS yet, I really need to get on the DS grind. Mario Party and Mario Kart, I've heard it was really good. I, like I just said, Mario Kart Double Dash and Wii, I personally consider to be technically superior. And Mario Kart Tour, they were hella supporting. Mario Kart 8 is where it's at though. Like, they, that sold like, the highest sales amount of any Switch game, I think besides New Horizons at this point. Last I checked, Mario Kart was still on top, but I'm pretty sure that that's flipped by now, because let's be honest, Animal Crossing is Animal Crossing. That's insane, like, I saw the, the Tokyo course for Mario Kart Tour. I really like that they're getting the Mario Kart Tour courses on Mario Kart 8, because you don't have to see them in cell phone quality anymore. They can be actual tracks, like Paris Promenade and Tokyo Drift, or whatever the hell it's called. Those look really cool. I want to play those in Mario Kart 8. Those look good. Um, Sky Garden, Mario Kart DS. Don't think I missed that. Don't think I missed that. Actually, no, that was Super Circuit. I did miss it, I guess. I, I saw, the first time I saw, ever saw Sky Garden was on a Nathaniel Bandy ranking. That course looks sick. I agree that it needs an HD remaster. We have an HD remaster now. I just read mine. Probably for the first, like, probably for like the fifth time. I don't care. I am hyped about this direct still. Oh, like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, so you can buy that for $25 later today as of recording. Which makes sense, I'm going to do that. Don't think I won't. I'm gonna do it. This is literally like the Fighters Pass again. They gave us Smash Ultimate Fighters Pass 2. Again, two. I, I can't say Fighters Pass 2 because that actually exists and I play Sora. Um, 
they gave us Fighter's Pass, but for Mario Kart. Splatoon 2, Salmon Run, Next Wave, looks insane. Literally, you get to fight the Imprisoned as a Salmon. That's literally my favorite mode in Splatoon 2 and 1 combined. Like, even including the DLC. The DLC was insane. I love the DLC from Splatoon 2. The fact that they're doing that back in Splatoon 3, that was like one of my biggest worries from Splatoon 3, that they weren't going to bring back all the new modes. Like, the one thing that they're missing now is still split screen, which they kind of had in Splatoon 1, but not really. Let's be honest. What else was there? Oh, um, Xenoblade 3. That looks amazing. Xenoblade 3 looks freaking amazing. Um, I pl I've played a little bit of Xenoblade 2. I always go to chapter 3 and just stop. I don't know why, but I need to be I need to finish that game. I need to play the original Xenoblade. There's so many games that I need to play. Oh my god. I'm gonna start Twitch streaming again, I guess. We're getting Mother. We're getting Mother at Earthbound on the freaking Switch. Finally. Finally. M Mother 3 is a distinct possibility now. Even though it's a GBA game. I was saying during my reaction that they're not gonna do Mother 3. Everybody else was like, dude, they could do Mother 3, they could do Mother 3. And I was like, yeah, they could do Mother 3. But then I remembered, it's a GBA game. They don't have GBA games on the Nintendo Switch Online yet. They're doing the Mario Kart thing with the expansion pack, which I guess makes sense. I'm still not gonna buy it because I can just buy the Mario Kart expansion pack there. Like literally the only exclusive content that you're getting on the expansion pack right now is a uh, shitty N64 emulator and Sega Genesis games that are already available everywhere else anyways. So why even bother? I mean, if you want to buy the Happy Home Paradise DLC, you can do that standalone as well. Honestly, I don't really remember that much else about the Direct, but it was so Oh yeah! Wii Sports! <laughs> Wii Sports is freaking back. Oh my god. I have a friend who's trying to start a volleyball club in our town, and there's like no volleyball scene at all. It's- oh, and it's only for the girls. He wants to have a men's volleyball league set up in our hometown. I- I- absolutely have no doubt that he popped the fuck off that entire thing and oh i mean holy shit dude the fact that we're getting a reason to use me's again after clubhouse 51 really d dropped the ball on that opportunity we're finally getting we sports on the switch like it's only six games sure they've got golf they are going to update this game this is the modern era you should be able to expect that they're going to update this game and give us a bunch of the old ones back. Like, I think it'd be cool to see wakeboarding come back, boxing. Boxing uh, could just be a replacement for arms, honestly. They already forgot about that game anyways. Like, uh, the sword play adventure mode, they could have that as like a, like a callback to Resort. Um, I, I played the hell out of Resort, honestly, with my family all the time. There's so much stuff that they could pull from there. And they can get all the new sports, too. Like, they could do a triathlon. Who knows? Who freaking knows? I, I was disappointed that there was no Zelda 2, but honestly, what, what can you do? They're working hard on it. We already know that it's in progress. We've got gameplay of it. What, what else could you have for, honestly? I think that I've covered everything else that I want to cover so far. Except for Mario Strikers Battle League. I think it's called Mario Strikers Battle League. Let me just be the first to say, I called it. I called that shit. In February of 2021, I called that it would have a banging online mode. I called that it would have Rosalina, which is honestly kind of a freebie. I called the jersey customization in February of last year. I called the summer 2022 release date last year. I honestly, I don't know what the hell I am smoking. I like not to toot my own horn here or anything, or as Charlie would say, not to toot my own dick or anything, I think I'm a prophet. <laughs> my first, I, I'm talking about the Let's Talk series here. My first Let's Talk video was about Minecraft Steven Smash, and the next fighter we got was Minecraft Steven Smash. I was right that we wouldn't have any music from the original games, or barely any, rather. I was, um, I was right about the Minecraft uh, Console Legacy Edition skins. Um, I was right about there being like this huge diverse moveset. I was wrong in that he would actually be in us. I said that it would be unrealistic. But I mean, come on. He was the one to break tradition. He was the one that they reprogrammed the game for. So give me a bit of slack on that one, like honestly. The second one, um, the second Let's Talk video I have is the sequel to Mario Odyssey. That's my least favorite Let's Talk video, honestly. Cause um, it honestly comes off as super cringe. I don't really believe we're gonna be getting a sequel to Odyssey, honestly. 
I mean, I really hope that we do. I can kind of see it happening as the next Mario game because the Switch is going to be out forever. And the last time we got two 3D Mario games on the same system that weren't re-released as 3D World. I love the 3D World. Just saying. You're, you're not original for the Switch. The last time we got two original 3D Mario games for the same system was Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Those were, like, the two that were right up against each other. And seeing that Mario Odyssey is as popular as it is, uh, it's far surpassed Galaxy, honestly, in popularity, because everybody always looks up to Mario 64 as the original, as some people still say the best. I don't really understand why, personally. I'm more of a Galaxy 2 Odyssey guy myself. Um, the Sunshine, it's a huge speedrunning game, almost as big as Mario 64. I personally really like seeing Sunshine speedruns. The, the movement is so insane. But those were both on their own systems, and there were only one of each of them. Galaxy came around 2007. Three years later, we get Galaxy 2 2010. I would not be too surprised for Mario Odyssey 2, but I think it's unrealistic, honestly. And the ideas that I put down in my Let's Talk 2 video are definitely unrealistic. Like, teaming up with the Brutals, I, I definitely don't think that's going to happen in retrospect. But, like, revisiting the kingdoms with, like, different locations I still think is plausible. Although, they'll definitely get new levels. Like, we agree on that, right? Um... I do really want to see more of like the Ruined Kingdom, the uh, the Moon Kingdom seems really insane to traverse. Give us more Mushroom Kingdom, give us more callbacks to older Mario games, like a, uh, like, like give us uh, a Shadow Mario poster on one of the walls or something. Like, like new Easter eggs would be great. The third Let's Talk video that I did was a bit of a smaller one, it was like a um, Mushrooms versus Stars for that Splatfest that happened, and I said that I was on Team Shroom and I was giving like logical reasons as to why the mushroom is better than the star. Mushroom won that Splatfest! My team won that Splatfest. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, so far I've predicted a bunch of stuff in like Minecraft Steve for Smash. I predicted, um, what's it? I, I just forgot. A Split a Splatfest, the Mario Splatfest, that Mushroom was better, and it still is. My next video was the Mario Strikers one, that I will link below and have an iCard like Right, right up there, it, it mirrored camera, it's, it's weird. It, it's up there. You, you see it up there, right? Go click on it and watch that video. The editing style may be a bit like hackneyed and dated, but I swear the information in there is going to kind of surprise you because it was made a year ago. So my entire argument for this video is let's talk five Mario Party Superstars DLC. I'm just saying. <laughs> They're giving the DLC treatment to Mario Party. Like, that is insane. They're bringing back all of the old courses from Mario Kart 8, and to do the same thing for Superstars would just make sense since it's a more new and therefore more relevant IP. It's not a new IP, what am I talking about? It's a more relevant game. There's online for it, people are still making hella content, like the, the whole new like uh, Mario Party but you win by losing trend. It's hilarious, honestly, I really love it. It's, it, it just makes sense to me. Like, um. They should bring back the N64 boards. I think it'd be cool if they brought back the GameCube boards, but it's a bit less um, realistic in retrospect. Like, I saw a lot of people being like, why do you want the GameCube boards to come back? You should just ask for the N64 boards to come back. And that's because I hadn't played the N64 games yet. I have now played the N64 games, and I can casually say, Chili Waters, Spiny Desert, Western Land, we got robbed, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying Mario Party Superstars is a bad game. It's an amazing game. I love Mario Party Superstars so much. But it could be so much better with DLC. Like, oh my god, honestly. I don't want to say I'm always right, but so far I've had a 3 out of 5 record on a 5 uh, episode series where I basically predict the unpredictable company. This is probably the most arrogant you will ever see me, by the way. <laughs> the reason I haven't been posting videos recently is because I've been working on Smash Ultimate modding. I've gotten into that now, not just like, building stuff from other people's stuff, but I've, I've been making my own stuff. I'll flash a couple of images on the screen now, I guess. Uh, I also have a Twitter where you can see my updates on that and my absolute meltdown over predicting Mario Strikers. Like, I am still... I am still not... <laughs> I have still not processed that. Oh my god. I need to um, unlock everything in the original Mario Strikers. I need to actually play Mario Strikers Charged. The only one that's left is baseball now. We just need Mario Super Sluggers 2 or Mario Superstar Baseball again. Literally. That's it. And then then we'll be done. And then give us like Mario Lacrosse.
Give us Mario Lacrosse for the Switch. Why the hell not? <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to make this video to kind of like say, hi YouTube, I'm not dead. Um, to say, I, like, that Nintendo Direct is probably one of the best Directs in history. Like, we got Xenoblade 3, we got, um, Kirby becomes a fridge, or vending machine, or whatever the hell. He becomes a car. That's, that's gonna be the meme. Kurt, Kirby car. That's gonna be the meme. We got freaking Mario Strikers. We got Fire Emblem Warriors. That looks really good, honestly, for Fire Emblem and Dynasty Warriors fans. Like, congrats to you. We got Th Th Xenoblade 3, again. We got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 2, which I'm really excited about. And we got, like, confirmation that I am from the future and I just don't know it yet. <laughs> In Mario Strikers. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously. that That's kind of insane. Um, anyways, uh, I am going to go, uh, make and edit this video really quickly. Um, you're probably... If there's, like, not much editing, then I'm sorry because this laptop that I'm using is honestly kind of dog shit. And I hope I get a new one soon. I'm pretty sure that I will get a new one soon. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, be safe from the Twitter riots that are sure to ensue from this direct. Um, be sane. Make sure that you, uh, try and come at all this with a realistic light, like Kirby might not be that good, or... We might not get great Mario Kart courses, or maybe we'll never have Mario Kart 9, or maybe Xenoblade 3 is finally going to be the one that's bad. Like, like, be safe, be sane, like, don't kill nobodies, make sure you respect your homies in the Smash, the Smash friendlies, don't destroy them, don't kill nobodies. Yeah, be safe, be sane, don't kill nobodies. Um, I will, and yeah, I'll, uh... See you later, I guess. Damn.